Welcome to this Control Web Panel tutorial. In this video, we're going to discuss setting up domains and subdomains in the CWP User Panel. From the dashboard, you can see the number of domains and subdomains you have available according to the plan that you subscribed to. Simply scroll down and you'll see your plan status, and here it will show you the number of domains you have available and the number of domains you've used. Likewise for subdomains available and used. To add a new domain, Go to the left sidebar and click Domains. Then you'll have the option of clicking Domains. From the dashboard, you can also scroll down to the section on Domains and click Domains. Again at the top of the page, this will show you the number of domains that you've already used compared to the number of domains available in your plan. Below, you'll see a list of the domains that you've already created. If you have a long list of domains, you can use the search function to narrow down your search. You can also sort by domain name, username, path name, bandwidth, the existence of subdomains, SSL certificates, and you also have the option to delete. To add a new domain, simply click the blue button on the right that says add a new domain. Here you can add your domain name, And if you would like to assign a custom path, click on the house icon and you can navigate through the folders to customize your path. By clicking this checkbox, you can add an SSL certificate to your domain. When you're ready, click the Save button. And your domain is successfully added. Adding a subdomain is very similar. From the sidebar, click Domains and then Subdomains. Alternately, from the dashboard, you can scroll down to the section on Domains and select Subdomains. And again at the top, we'll see the number of subdomains we've already created compared to the number of subdomains available in our plan. And below we'll see a list of subdomains we've already created, which we can search if we have many. We can also sort by subdomain, domain, username, path, bandwidth usage, SSL certificates, or delete. To add a new subdomain, click the blue Add a new subdomain button at the top. Here we can add our subdomain name. And if we choose to give it a custom path, we can click on the house icon to choose the path we want to use. We can generate an auto SSL certificate by clicking this box here, and when we're ready, click Save. And our new subdomain has been automatically added. And that's how easy it is to add domains and subdomains in the CWP user panel. For more information on managing your domains and subdomains, please visit the CWP user guide at this link. Thanks very much for watching.